or out. I mean, yeah, yeah. Cool. Well, yeah. hi, Pop. Smash cut to uh, the day we get out there. Nah. No, they ain't letting us in. No, they ain't letting us in at all, right? Didn't let us in. Talk to the guy further. Uh, extract more information out of the guy. Uh, this is the situation. He's had this house for over a year. Um, he's got tenants in there, but they might be squatters, but they might not. He says they may or may not be paying rent. What the f***? What the f*** is going on? Welcome to the Investment Properties sales show folks thing is selling at or above list we are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education we take you to the video tour won't watch to you giving it to you straight all right it's the last one for the day i'm rolling i'm hot are we hot we're hot audio good audio good Audio good, audio is good. We're rolling, we're rolling. Oh, let's just keep it going, man. Don't even cut any of that out, bro. Let's just give people the real life behind the scenes action. And that is honestly like what I'm about to do for y'all right now. Like, dude, I was, you know, trying to wrap my head around uh, how I'm going to present this to you all in like a reasonable, understandable package, okay? Been sitting in my office while Tom has patiently been waiting here with a hot cam, a hot mic. Uh, why I tried to figure out like how I could present this to you guys in a way where you're like, yeah, that makes sense, but I can't because you're going to watch this and you're going to be like, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on, right? What the fuck, okay? And, yeah, I, I can't, really. It's a fucked up situation. Uh, but, you know what? Hey, guess what, folks? A lot of people watch Holton Wise TV because you want to figure out how to become a millionaire, right? You want to be a millionaire real estate investor, right? I did it, right? I talked about my story. I used to work at Radio Shack when I was 21. And now I'm a goddamn fucking millionaire, right? And I did it all by dealing with bullshit. Bullshit like this all the fucking time, right? If you're willing to deal with this kind of bullshit, you too can become a millionaire. Check this out. 1121 Woodland Ave, Toledo, Ohio. I've priced this for you at $29,900. Now, if you're dealing with like a professional seller, like a turnkey seller, everything is all, you know, hunky-dory position to you in a nice neat bow right we get a lot of you new rookie investors you guys want to know fucking everything you're like what's the rent can i get six months or 12 months of uh the the receipts how much does the guy pay in water what's this what's that let me see the lease let me do this let me do that what's the calculated r r r r i r r r cash on cash cap rates blah 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 right you guys you know you read your books you hear your podcasts and you you know, you, you're asking for all this information, right? And when you're dealing with a professional seller, people like me that do this professionally, other turnkey companies, right? We know what you're all looking for, so we try to wrap that shit up in a nice bow for you to present it to you in an easily digestible fashion, okay? But if you guys uh, want to look at the other side of the business, like where the serious money is made, where people like me have made our millions, right? You're dealing with distressed sellers. You're dealing with unprofessional sellers. You're dealing with fucked up situations. You're dealing with situations that some of the time they don't even make any goddamn fucking sense, right? And this one, it just don't make any goddamn fucking sense, okay? Uh, so when we hooked up with this particular cat, tired landlord says, you know, he doesn't want to have this house no more. He says he's got tenants in there uh, and, you know, they're they're not really complying with him, and he just wants to get rid of it. Uh, you know, we set up an appointment for my film crew to get inside, and he says it's all gonna be cool, right? Flash smash cut to uh, the day we get out there. No, nah. no, nah, they ain't letting us in. No, nah, they ain't letting us in at all, right? Didn't let us in. Talk to the guy further. Uh, extract more information out of the guy. Uh, this is the situation. He's had this house for over a year. Um. He's got tenants in there, 
but they might be squatters, but they might not. He says they may or may not be paying rent. Now, this is the part of the video where you're probably, wait a second. What do you mean they may or may not be paying rent? Isn't he the guy that owns the property? Yeah. Yeah, he is. You'd think it's a little weird to talk to the guy that owns the property and be like, yo, bro, are they or are they not fucking paying you rent? How do you not fucking know, right? So, you know, you got to go deeper down the rabbit hole and talk to these people, figure out, like, yo, what, like, dude, I don't know why you're trying to withhold information from me. You hired me uh, to, to take your fucking jumble fuck of stupid information and, like, try to wrap it up for the audience so someone can give you money for your house, bro. Like, you got to be square with me. You got to be straight here, right? So long story short, I, I dug through the web, the web of stories, and here's the situation. He's had this house for over a year. He has never seen a penny in rent, okay? He doesn't know if the people that live there are squatters or if his sister, who is apparently the person uh, who is managing it, but I guess she doesn't do anything in regards to managing it other than she has the keys and she's the one to put them in there. Uh, she's never given him a dime, um, but, I, but I guess he's never asked her if if they're stealing from him or or if she's stealing from him i don't know it sounds like him and her do not talk and he does not want to talk to her he does not want to deal with her right so in a nutshell y'all what you got you got a house that i have i'm like look bro okay you understand how fucking crazy weird all this stuff sounds i'm like that's fine there are people like me out there that will buy your problems right because that's what he's got he's got a problem and he doesn't want to deal with it is his problem that the tenants are squatters? Maybe. Is his problem that his sister's stealing from him and he's taking all and she's taking all the tenants' rents, but him and her they got some weird personal thing and they don't talk? Maybe. Could be one, could be the other. I don't fucking know. You don't know either, right? So here's what we did. Priced it at twenty nine nine. That's the move, right? That's the game, right? That's what we do. That's what seasoned investors like me do, guys. We buy problems from tired landlords, distressed sellers. We buy their problem at a price that we think is low enough to where we could hedge our bets and take on that risk, right? You get this particular property that should be renting for twelve hundred that is absolutely worth a hell of a lot more than twenty nine thousand nine hundred if there was a scenario going on that was just this much less fucked up than the current scenario here, right? So that's that's what we got. Do you want to know the condition of the hot water tank? Probably. So do I. I got no fucking idea. He did let us know that the roof was less than five years old and the furnace was less than five years old. I don't know how. I can't tell you for a fact if that's true or not. Uh, we've been getting inconsistent stories. But that, that's what we said. That's the information I have. So the information for you guys is there are people living there. Those people will not let you into the house. Those people are not letting us into the house. Um, we don't know anything about what the inside of this house looks like. They may or may not be paying rent. We don't know. You'd have to buy this problem and then unwrap it and figure it out yourself. Now, if you like, you could totally uh, see if you could work with them, right? A lot of this business, a lot of this game is, uh, you know, it's, it's being able to talk to people and, like, get people to be reasonable, things like that, right? Uh, you know, this guy obviously does not have the skill set that it takes to be a landlord, to be a property manager. Maybe you do, right? Uh, so, you know, if you want to, right, 1121 Woodland, folks, if you want to go to the property, knock on the door, introduce yourself. Hey, so-and-so, I'm an investor. I'm thinking about buying this particular property. I understand you're renting it. Uh, what's the situation? Can we talk about it? Maybe I could take a look at it. Do you have issues with your current landlord? If so, maybe I could solve those issues for you. You let me get in here. You scratch my back, I scratch your back. Maybe you could build a rapport with these people. I don't know. It's up to you. I'm not going to stop you from trying to get a showing. Or maybe you're just like, screw it. The house is worth a lot more than twenty nine nine. I'll buy it now, sight unseen, cash offer. I ain't going to care what's happening. And then at the end of it, once I own it, once I got the deed, I'll just evict everybody and start over. You could do that too. I've done both, okay? I have purchased properties in both scenarios. Purchased properties where we went there, talked to the tenant, 
figured out what was going on and, you know, we're able to get the tenant kind of on our side and we were able to move on, even though the relationship with their previous landlord didn't go well. Uh, and I've also done situations where I'm like, yeah, whatever. That's a good price. Let's just buy it and evict all the motherfuckers and start over. I have done it both times. I have made money doing it both times. But guess what? I've also lost money on deals using both scenarios. That is the risk we take as investors, y'all. So if you're a brand new investor, you're probably thinking more about that turnkey stuff where it's packaged up nice and neat for you. But if you're a seasoned investor trying to shoot the big shot, trying to make the big money, uh, this, this, folks, this is the ugliness of the business. This is what other people don't like to talk to you about. This is what other people don't like to tell you. But I pride myself here. Uh, at Holton Wise TV to showing you guys what it's really like, because <laughs> believe it or not, uh, people like me, we don't usually become millionaires uh, buying fancy turnkey properties with like really nice colorful PDFs drawn up by the real estate brokers. No, no, no. We made our millions dealing with people like this who's like, yeah, dude, I don't know. I've had it for a year. I don't know if they're paying rent to me. I'm not sure. They either are squatting or my sister's stealing it for me. But guess what? I don't want to talk to her, uh, and I, I want I want to get rid of this property, and I don't want to talk to anybody. That's how the money's made, y'all. If you would like to make an offer, we're only accepting as is cash offers. Sales at HoltonWise.com. Whether that offer is made by you completely sight unseen or after you have knocked on the door and built some type of rapport with those tenants slash potential squatters, that is totally up to you. Get close to it. Is that a bumper? Yeah, it is a bumper. I don't remember that being here last time either. I don't remember much about this area. Yeah, I was going to say, I think as long as it's gentle, it shouldn't fall apart. I don't want to. Oh, it comes this way. Oh, and? Yep. Or out? I mean, yep, yep. Cool. Well, oh, hi, Pop. You're okay, buddy. Thank you. Oh. All right, well, that's that. Looks good. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.